Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are going hands-on with a somewhat recently released tool called AccuRig. Now this is a free tool, unfortunately it is Windows only, it is from Real Illusion, the creators of Character Creator, and if that zoom in kind of uh, confused you for a second, well first off, get your mind out of your gutter. It's just a hand, people, it's just a hand. I don't know what you thought it was for a second there, but literally, it is a hand. So this is a animation rigging tool. This is a model I downloaded off of Sketchfab. A cool thing about this product actually is it's got the ability to actually download directly uh, from Sketchfab when you first set it up. So you can actually bring your model in from Sketchfab. Uh, in my case, I actually downloaded it. So I'm going to show you the entire rigging process from beginning to end because this is just so absolutely simple. First off, grab your object and then open it up like so. So I brought in OBJ or FBX file. We're going to use the exact same model. Now you're going to notice that we set up the uh, plane of symmetry uh, and it's already done so, so we don't really need to move it because it's pretty much perfectly aligned. That's all you got to do. Switch over to the body rigging. Its um, algorithms will now go through and try to figure out the best placement points for a variety of different joints. Uh, it doesn't take too long. Uh, yep, it's done now. So you see here you've got clavicle, shoulder, bicep, wrist, groin, upper thigh, knee, and so on. And, and that's kind of it. It actually does a really good job of placing the things initially as well. But if you want, you can literally just drag and move things around. And then when you're done and you've got your bones placed properly, you just go over here to the hand rig, uh, pick the number of fingers on your hand, one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll go ahead and next. Uh, this one takes a little bit longer, but basically it is the AI going about, I should stop calling everything AI. That's just the way the world works. It's the algorithms going around calculating where the fingers should be so that you don't have to. And I gotta admit, once again, this is a random model I downloaded off Sketchfab, uh, not something that was pre-staged or one of their presets. And everything has worked pretty much flawlessly to me, except for one thing. And I'll show you what that one thing is in just a moment. Uh, so it's going to be done any second now. So again, if you used uh, Mixamo, you ever uploaded a character to Mixamo, it's almost the exact same process. The big difference here is this is a standalone download file for um, Windows operating system only, whereas Mixamo is entirely online. Uh, and this isn't owned by Adobe, which is a huge difference for a lot of people. So, okay, hurry up, finish, finish. And they, uh, I think they hired their... Uh, the progress bar programmer from Microsoft. That was a very typical progress bar update in a Microsoft manner. So again, here is your finger. It doesn't look like anything else. The rigging of the hand, they nail it. You can actually check either finger if you wish. So the left hand and the right hand are um, both rigged just fine. And now we can go ahead and see how the animations would work on this. And this is where uh, AccuRig comes in. Basically, they want you to buy uh, either their characters or their animations. A lot like what Mixamo, uh, their business model was as well. Uh, we're not going to wait for this to, to continue. It doesn't take too long, but it is a progress bar we don't want to watch. And ta-da! We have a fully rigged character. You've got the ability at any one of these stages. By the way, we can go back in time. Uh, you can move the joints around however you wish. Uh, you can also change uh, individual body parts, their positioning, and so on. So for the neck, for example, uh, we can... We can move it around or leave it alone. So you do have the ability to fine tune and tweak anything at any one of these stages. We can go back in time through this process as well. But as you saw, you could also go through this one and just basically next, 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 and have a decently rigged character. So you got over here, you can set it up. So this guy has uh, some serious biceps going on. So we, we got a little bit of underfold, but it did a really good job of T-posing this guy. So it, it the calculations are definitely bang on. We got another here for body. We can see how... Uh, the animations will work out on that guy. I can go in here and zoom in on the hands. So here we can see how well hands are actually animated in bone. So there might be a little bit of a, a back bend, but that also could be coming from the original model. So there's some things that you may want to do mild tweaks on. We could go back and change the hand rig, maybe move those back a little bit and get a bit of a better result there. But I got to say, for the most part, everything that we've seen here is pretty solid. Uh, I'm kind of impressed. You know, you still need to go in and probably do some facial work or something, you know, blend shapes, etc. in your DCC tool of choice. But when you are happy with what you have got, you basically just come on down here, you can export it, and you've got the option to bring it out as FBX, uh, Omniverse, or iClone, which is one of Real Illusion's other projects or other products. Uh, most people would probably end up being FBX. That's a pretty universal format that you can then bring into, you know, Unreal, Unity, Blender, uh, Godot, whatever. Um, 
or USD is probably going to be the more exact match. And I think USD is ultimately going to be one of the formats of the future. So it's nice to see that support is there as well. Now, one thing I have found that is lacking with this, however, and one of the big areas behind uh, AccuRig is they obviously want you to go into their AccuCore ecosystem. So what you see over here is I can add an acting set. This will bring me over to ActorCore where I've already logged in in the, oh, I, I'm not logged in. One second. Okay, now magically I am logged in. I don't know why it didn't persist my login. Uh, but what you'll notice here is this is where they're trying to make their money. They want you to buy their animations. In terms of pricing, you're looking at three bucks an animation, by the way, uh, which you can then integrate back. Now, what I have found though, though, by the way, there are some frees as well. So I, for example, I have purchased this one and this one, I'll purchase another one here so you can see the process. Basically click in here, we add it to our cart, go to checkout and then check it out because obviously it's free. Uh, and now I can download it into my inventory, which it should have seen. So see, I have these three in my inventory. Now the flaw with this guy is they don't show up here, even after a restart. So I, I don't know how you're actually going to preview those animations inside of AccuRig. This feels like a bug to me. So that's the only thing I have found. Otherwise, it just works exactly uh, as advertised, which is an impressive thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that was AccuRig in action. Sadly enough, it is Windows only. Uh, so if you are working on another, they even did butt jiggle physics. Uh, if you're working on another platform, you're obviously out of luck. I do not know if it'll run in Wine. Uh, by the way, it is available at actorcore.realillusion.com forward slash auto dash rig. Uh, there are a couple things you can actually see in this preview where it is different from um, the Mixamo rigging. Uh, so you've got one of the most impressive things is when you've got sloppy meshes or you can also handle less fingers. So if you're dealing with someone with only two, you got things for uh, tweaking your character rig as well. So we saw the rotation. We saw a little bit of that in action. So you can fix out things as well. And this one is what kind of impressed me. So this isn't a well set up rig and boom, they still made it work. So even if you're not going with like a perfect T pose, you can still do nice animations uh, with this guy and it works pretty pretty nicely. Now, another thing I found kind of funny is if you go here and look at the tutorials that are available, this I am pretty much 100% positive is Godet, the 3D model for the Godot project. So it's interesting to see that that was in uh, their 1.1 update. Uh, they do seem to be improving this at a pretty decent rate. Uh, now, obviously where they want you to buy in uh, is Actor Core. So you see here, Actor Core is a combination of uh, where, play, so where you can go get 3D characters as well as 3D animations. And then of course you've got the Actor Core auto rigging tool, which is what we downloaded earlier on. I don't know if it'll be coming to other platforms or environments. It'd be interesting to see. But the good thing is you don't actually need any of those things. By the way, the model I got, uh, it was Superhuman by uh, David Vidiger uh, off of uh, Sketchfab, a free download. So if you want to try and recreate things yourself, uh, that is where the actual model itself came from. From. And the thing that we've been talking about all along is Mixamo. Mixamo also has the same, same capabilities. I showed you here is the end process uh, with their auto rigger. The, the results are also quite good. Mixamo has done a good job of creating an auto rigging tool. They also have a huge swath of animations available. Uh, so, all right, here we go. So here is our character in, oh, but he's below the origin. Okay. Uh, so we've got a huge swath of animations available on Mixamo as well. Uh, and that's where they are kind of on the bigger level is they just have so many animations. Uh, but at the same time, uh, are they that good? And from what I've seen, I actually like the animations uh, over here from AccuRig better. Well, actually, I guess technically Actor Core. I like their animation quality a little bit better than what I have seen from Mixamo. But if you're interested, Mixamo does functionally the same thing. The way it is done is you go to the Mixamo website, so there's no app anymore. It used to be an app called Fuse, but again, this was an app they purchased. Uh, you upload the document right here. So here we go. Just drag it, drop it in like here. So it is a very similar process. Um, I'll come back after. Oh, no, I think this will be pretty instant. The only difference here is, okay, now I'll pause. In this case, you need to do things like put it in a T-pose and spread the fingers apart, ideally. So if you want fingers to work, it's not going to have the same smarts that we saw previously. And then you manually have to set things up. And it's not exactly like this is challenging. All I'm basically doing is putting things where it says to put them. Uh, and then it will figure out the rest for you. But it's um, it's definitely more work. And where Mixamo kind of falls apart, as opposed to AccuRig, uh, is AccuRig does a much better job on the hand rig. It handles uh, less fingers, for sure, uh, which is a powerful capability. And then, of course, uh, 
what you saw in the uh, video earlier on has it's showing it using a just a 3d scan and making that workable and that is not something you could ever get to work in mixamo so definitely it is a viable mixamo alternative as long as you are on the windows platform i'm curious what do you think of accurig uh i i like not having to rig i don't like rigging so I, more and more tools that do this stuff for me the happier i am so let me know what you think accurig and i shall talk to you all later goodbye